It's a beautiful late winter morning at Seven Springs Mountain Resort. Here we go. And all smiles for the Santos right. family of Lebanon. And then step down. Each on skis. Well, you can see I'm a newbie. Huh? For the first time. I can see myself on the floor pretty soon. They are one of more than a dozen families spending the week here as VIP guests of the Wounded Warrior Patrol. Remember how in stand-up skiing, your boots need to be really, really tight. All right. Same thing with you sitting in this bucket. Not to be confused with the Wounded Warrior Project, these are local ski patrol guys and gals, many military veterans themselves, who volunteer their time to help former service members get up. Do you have any feeling at all in the back of your spine? And moving. Darling, you're going to be a gorgeous lesson. We had a lot of fun. Charlie Dunn came on this annual trip last year, now he's a member. It was just the best experience that ever happened to me as a Vietnam veteran. This time around, he's brought along his longtime friend Jim. Put my arms out, it's a little bit better. Right? Who served and was injured alongside him in Vietnam. And it's kind of sad seeing him waste away now that he's got ALS and it's getting weaker and weaker in his legs. And I said, Jim, you got to come out here. I said, I came out here last year. I said, you're going to be treated like, like a king. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, so exciting, you know, I, uh, I haven't been skiing with him in probably 15 years and the fact that we get to do it now, this is just absolutely amazing that these guys put this event on for all these, you know, wounded warriors. Veterans like Jim. That was uh, very exhilarating. And Jennifer. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's very freeing. Who've lost the use of their legs are still able to ski thanks to special adaptive equipment and some pretty awesome instructors. I never thought I'd ski again, so to be up here, it's a miracle. They challenged me to take a few runs. Right. Now you tell me where to turn. Okay, look to your right. Let's just say I was out of my comfort zone. Why am I not going to the right, though? <laughs> so imagine how intimidating this can be for someone like William, who's lost a limb. He says days like today aren't for him, though. <laughs> but the people who support him every day. Yeah, they deserve much more than what we do. I believe that way. It's that kind of unprovoked selflessness we so often see from our military and veterans. This is exciting stuff. That keeps this patrol inspired to give back. It's getting easier every time. The best way they know how. <laughs> oh, this is great, guys. In this Somerset is, County, yeah. Megan Healy, ABC 27 News.